Hey, it's Scott with San Marcos Makes, and welcome to my next video. So I'm going to do kind of review of uh, three products, a um, couple safety items uh, that I just wanted to share that I've recently got. Um, so we're going to talk about the work tunes, the 3M work tunes, uh, a pair of safety glasses that I recently got, and my favorite uh, Cat Moses uh, apron. So we'll talk about each one of them individually. Um, and show you all about them. Cool. All right, so the next item that I wanted to show, and I may put these in order because if there's one thing that I really want to show, was this apron. I'm extremely proud of this apron. Um, I have been looking for a woodworking apron for a very, very long time. I saw some that I liked, some that I didn't like, some are crazy, crazy expensive. Um, and I mean like over a hundred dollars. Um, or they didn't have the pockets that I want. Um, I saw a while back, uh, Jonathan Katz Moses, uh, incredible YouTuber. If you've never seen his channel, I would highly recommend. I'll definitely put a link down to uh, this apron and his site. Um, but he was doing a, uh, it's not really a Kickstarter because he's made these before, but a couple different additions. And I thought this was going to be an extremely expensive apron. Um, I'll look cause I know the price was going to go up, but this is right around, uh, 30 to $40 apron. Um, and it is incredibly made. So I'll show you what it's like. So the way I wear it, put it on here. There is a strap around the back. Does fit most, you know. I'm not gonna say it's gonna fit everybody, but he does make uh, left-handed ones and right-handed, and I'll show you what that's for in a little bit. But he also makes a uh, expandable clip to make this even larger. So a couple of the things that I like about it, obviously. The number one thing that I like about it is having a square, almost like at the pistol, ready to go. How cool is that? This is where the left-handed and right-handed comes into play. Uh, it's always at the ready. Um, super handy. It's always, always there. Now, my pockets are not extremely full yet. Um, as I get into this, the more and more, uh, the more tools I will get. I do keep my tape measure here right to the side uh, and right now that's about it I do have a box cutter keep my pencils um, when I'm not filming I will normally keep my uh, phone right here so it's at the ready um, but a couple of the things that you know down the road I want to get uh, you know this right here is for a marking knife so if you want to get away from the pencils I have not got into the marking knife yet, but uh, I do want to pick up one of those one day. Um, to me also, at some point, like a Jimmy Duresta ice pick's got to go somewhere on here. Um, but it also has large pockets, so I can put stuff, you know, I've kept screws in here. Uh, it does keep the sawdust pretty well in here. Uh, <laughs> but uh, plenty, plenty of pockets. It is very heavy duty. Um, I'd have to go look on his site, but I know when there's, he has many videos on this apron, but um, he was comparing it to a Carhartt jacket, the thickness, and I don't remember the number, but it was like double the thickness of a Carhartt. So it's very durable. It is wax dipped. Um, I've had this now for a couple months, and so far it's held up extremely, extremely well. Um, I'm hoping it's going to, you know, not meaning last a lifetime, but at least get a good couple of years. And for the price, um, I think it's the highest quality that I've personally seen and at a very reasonable price. Um, but it is the perfect, I'm not ever having to fight with it. It's easy to put on. And how cool is the speed square? Look at that, riveted pockets. I mean, a riveted square that it's just out. Make my mark put it back it is always always there 
Awesome. Awesome. What day the marking knife will be there. But again, Jonathan Katz Moses. Um, so if you never been to this page, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, but that's the apron. Let me know what you think. Do you use an apron? Have you ever tried it? I I think it's great. It protects the clothes. Um, you know, I'm not going to paint in this or nothing because I don't want to get it damaged. You know, maybe down the road uh, as it gets kind of worn, maybe I'll start painting in it. But for the most part, this is just for the woodworking. Um, that's it. I don't even cook in this one. I have one just for cooking, but this is not my cooking one. All right. Appreciate it. All right, so the first thing that I was going to talk about um, is some hearing protection. So, you know, for reason saw or, um, yeah, maybe mainly the saw, but um, we do want to protect those ears. So I am not a fan of little bitty things that go in my ears. I really enjoy a, uh, a bigger earplug. So I was looking for something and um, really found these and I really didn't, wasn't even thinking about doing Bluetooth because uh, normally I just listen to music or a podcast when the saw stops. Um, so this was pretty cool. I didn't even know it existed. So this is made by 3M. Um, I have no idea what's the 24. I, I'll have to look it up. But um, what's really good about it, you can listen to a podcast and continue. Very easy to fit over the ears. Uh, simple one button operation you just turn it on as long as it's been paired to your phone um, you'll be able to listen to favorite podcast for me my my favorite podcast at least currently is making it um, so really good one I highly recommend if you're into podcasts but it's also great for music with Amazon music jamming out with some ACDC um, really enjoy it so in the box you're gonna get the actual headphones charging cord and I'm sure the book that nobody will ever look at um, to simply charge it. It's just a micro USB. Plug it in. Plug it into the wall. Um, does not take very long to charge. Uh, I've been using this for, I don't know, a couple months. Obviously, I'm not using it all the time, but I've charged it twice. And that includes the very first time, um, which it already had half percent. So when you boot it up, it will tell you that uh, how much battery life you have. So normally you have plenty of uh, battery life. Um, probably when it starts getting low, go and throw it on the charge. But uh, you don't have to be playing music. Sometimes I just want a little quiet and I'll put it on. Um, I use it also for mowing the grass, but anything you want a little bit of hearing protection, it works really good. I think these are somewhere in the ballpark between 30 and $50. I got mine on Amazon. I'll put it down on the link down below um it does also work great for phone i've had i didn't even realize it would do the phone conversation so somewhere there's a mic built in um probably the little dot there um but probably as long as your background is not too loud you could easily be on the phone um but it it works great as a phone um so kind of a cool little bonus um it it it's a little bit adjustable, but not too much. Um, but just basically goes directly over your ears. All right, we'll move to the next item. So I'll definitely add in as I'm reading the box. So just a couple little other things about it. Obviously it's Bluetooth, single button. Uh, it does have the integrated microphone, which we talked about. Make and receive calls without having to remove a uh, hearing protector. Uh, Hi-fi sound. Uh, 40 millimeter high fidelity speakers for premium sound quality. So that's kind of cool. Uh, lightweight, low profile. Um, audio assistance for setup with guidance. So it kind of talks to you and tells you Bluetooth connected. Um, the battery status. Uh, it will shut off also if you're not using it. And it is compatible with non Bluetooth devices via a 3.5 millimeter 
uh, audio cable. It does not come in the box, but it would hook up. Um, so, kind of cool. I don't think there's anything else really on the box. Oh, and the NRR rating is 24 decimals. Decibels. 24 decibels. So that's kind of cool. Pretty good. I think the sound's pretty... Takes it away pretty well. Okay, so the higher number denotes greater effectiveness. So I guess the higher this is, so 50 would be better. But 24 worked pretty well for me. Very cool. Got to protect those ears. Alright, so another item that I want to show uh, is this pair of safety glasses. So, uh, with my actual job job, I wear safety glasses a lot. Um, I've never had a pair like this uh, for work. Um, but I wanted something different in the shop. I didn't want just the average pair of safety glasses. So I was looking and I really didn't know they were this stout when I ordered them. I thought they just had side shields. So if you know anything on the safety world, uh, most safety glasses have to have be a ANSI rated. Uh, and the actual number, if you care to know, if you ever want to look at safety glasses and see if they're good, you're looking for the Z87, Z87 or most commonly called. Uh, these are actually Z87 plus, so it's a little bit higher standard, uh, but normally a Z87 is really what you're after. Anything higher is just better. Um, so these are, I think these actually do come in multiple colors. I kind of went with the smoke. These are clear. Um, so it's one thing I was looking for normally, um, at least with work ones that I've, I've always had sunglasses ones because I'm out in the sun. Um, but these are really good clear. So if I'm in the garage, I'm able to see very well. Um, plus they're just not, they, they look better. Uh, they do have a side shield. And what I thought this was going to be is plastic. It's actually kind of a steel, um, definitely not chain mill, but think of it as that kind of material. I don't know what to call it. It's pretty fine. Uh, I have seen where some people say a little bit of dust can get in there. Um, I'm not going to be too worried about that for the type of working woodworking that I'm doing. Um, but I think it's kind of cool. It does fold up kind of awkwardly. So I'm, I'm kind of curious how well these will hold up long term. I've used them a couple times and they seem to be pretty well. Um, you know, they'll go on basically just like this. And you'll see that you're going to have uh, impact resistance. So um, obviously it's not going to, it's going to stop the small stuff from getting in your eyes. You have these side shields uh, that protect things from the sides. Um, they can kind of mold your face a little bit. Um, but I think they, uh, they're anti-fog too, so they won't fog up as much. Um, so, you know, as I use these a little bit more, uh, I'll try to keep you updated how well I like, I like these. These were right around $10. I'll put the link also for these. I got them on Amazon. Um, but I really like these. Kind of cool. Something different. My wife uh, thinks they're kind of nerdy looking, and I'm not saying I'm going for that look, but I like them. What do you think? All right, so that's all the gear. Got the awesome apron, glasses, and of course the earring protection. So definitely think about safety uh, in the shop. Use them, protect those ears, protect those eyes. The apron, Kind of really wasn't saying, but this is also can definitely help in the uh, protection. Um, but cool. The last thing I'll definitely mention is the great coffee. Uh, if you know anything about me, I'm a coffee morning, noon, and night. Uh, this is definitely my favorite mug. Not necessarily this exact one, but this series. So Starbucks puts these out. Uh, I think it is the absolute perfect mug. I do. I like it open mug it's just the way but a, a, a little bit bigger 
Um, this is the Ben Year series, uh, so they change it up every once in a while, but uh, every, every single state um, and a lot of bigger cities will have a mug. Uh, my only rule is I must be have a Starbucks from that city to be able to claim the mug. So last vacation, spring break, uh, we were in New Mexico, and so I got this one. Um, but there's been a couple different lines. Um, but everywhere I go, as long as there's a Starbucks, I'm going to get the mug. Um, but I truly do think, so whatever you would like to put in the coffee, or you know, definitely have the beverage of your choice as you're doing this uh, lovely uh, hobby. Cool. Well, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber and you want to see more videos like this as when we journey through woodworking and learn it, uh, I'm definitely not the expert, but learning. Uh, if you're at that same skill level, come learn with us. Uh, please, please, please uh, think about subscribing to the channel. Uh, you can even ring that bell uh, so you get notifications when I post a new video. I really try to put out a video a week, whether it's cooking, whether it's woodworking or making. Um, but I will always do my best to get a video out. Um, life happens though, but we're working on them. Uh, but awesome. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.